Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Libra. How are you guys this week, Libra? Hope you're all well. So this week, something different. I am going to ask four questions. And each week I do this, I may change up the questions to keep it fun and interesting. And uh, possibly the layout. Actually, I will change the layout. I'm just working out the details, so I'm keeping it simple this week. Just to get that message out there. So, your next love interest. Who is your next lo love interest and their characteristics? Okay. So I do see a king of wands. Uh, I do see justice. So whether someone comes in or right, whether they're right for you or not, but they actually could have Libra in their chart. I do see uh, somebody here, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy, Scorpio. Now this is a person who's often um, proud, often a little loud. <laughs> Somebody who's very creative, very determined. It's a person who doesn't give up when they want something. Okay. So it does look like, oops, and then we have this card here. I almost stuck it back in the pile. Yeah, this is someone who's walked away from someone who's not right for them. So this is someone who wasn't emotionally fulfilled. So it looks like this is somebody who's walking away from a marriage uh, commitment or even getting a divorce. They definitely weren't happy. This is someone who's searching for someone who's just right for them. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So someone taking a leap of faith, one last look over their shoulder. It looks like they could be Aries. They could have Libra in their chart, uh, but I feel they're moving away from someone who's not right for them. Uh, one last look over their shoulder. This is someone who will take a risk, that leap of faith, this new path. Lovely. It looks like this is someone who's looking for, for someone, hopefully like yourself. <laughs> Very nice. Now let's have a look at where you will meet this person. Okay, where you will meet them, or have you met this person? Whoops. Yeah. So this is this person here is definitely someone who possibly has options. Okay, possibilities here. So I feel the where you meet this person, there's likely a lot of possibilities. I'm just gonna leave that like that. Yeah, definitely a little cancer energy. So this is a person who, yeah, this is someone who's leaving other options behind here. This is someone searching for something here. So this is an energy of someone who's determined. They're determined, okay, to leave something behind. They're out of here and they're heading down a path. Now you're going to meet this person. Like I say, possibilities. Now, this is interesting because it popped into my head in another reading. Now, this person could park somewhere where you meet. You could literally meet them in a parking lot, okay, when you're parking your car, the possibilities. But there's a lot of possibilities where you could meet them. Something to do with a chariot, which is often a motorcycle or a car, okay? Yeah. Oops, this came out. Yeah, the moon. So definitely some strong cancer energy. Now, this is an energy of where you meet them now i don't know if it's a secret place or what here <laughs> something is hidden let's see where have you met this person Ooh, that came out yeah this is definitely an energy of fast moving oh yeah this person i feel like you're going to have a conversation with this person somewhere yeah they're pretty confident they're definitely confident about a choice they're making. They're definitely leaving something behind. And if they have options, they're leaving them behind. But something tells me you're going to have a conversation. It's just going to happen suddenly out of the blue. This person just swoops in. I don't know. Maybe they're going to take your your special, your special parking spot. <laughs> See a lot of talk, passion, things moving very quick. They're very confident. This person's very confident. Yeah. I don't know. I'll probably have to revisit that to see if you've met them. I don't feel like you have. I feel there's someone who's just searching. They're off on this path. There definitely is someone who pushes through fear. So there's something they're going to push through here. You see, they're going to take a risk. Something is very fast moving. Maybe they drive really fast. I don't know. Maybe they beat you to a parking spot, but it looks like you're going to have a conversation. They're very passionate. I feel like they like to talk. They're very passionate about the way they communicate, the things they're doing. So I find it interesting, but it's confident. Okay, they're very confident. Now this person also could be, because of the physical energy, they could be very strong. So there's something there. 
Let's have another card. Actually, let's grab another deck for that. Let's see. Have you met this person or how will you meet them? Yeah, something to do with your structure, your routine, okay? Because of the hierophant is, um, you know, institutions, structure, habits, okay? Yeah, something to do with lifestyle. So if there's some place you go or something that you do as part of your day-to-day -day life, your structure, your routine, that's how you're going to meet this person, okay? So interesting energy. Let's have one more just to clarify. Yeah, this is definitely a person who's walking away. This is someone leaving a relationship or marriage behind, but they're searching. It's like searching for something. You know, what is this trying to tell me? It's trying to tell me something that I feel the cards have a hard time uh, showing, you know, or to, oh, I know what it is. Have you ever parked your car someplace and then you can't find your car? Okay, for some of you, you park and then go, oh, where did I, where did I put my car, right? <laughs> There's going to be a conversation. I feel it's just one of those things that just kind of happens, right? So we'll just leave that at that. I'll definitely revisit it. So let's have a look at what they bring to the table. I'll just move these out of the way. What does this person bring to the table? Libra. What do they bring to the table? This card comes out. Yeah, well, they're definitely single, enjoying the fruits of their labor. They dress nice. They look out for themselves. They take pride in the way they look. Yeah, it could be something to do with a vehicle too, pride in their vehicle, but they, they definitely have pride. They they look good, they take care of themselves, and they're definitely single. They bring that to the table. Oh yeah, they definitely travel in that social, it could be in your social circle, okay, something to do with community. They're definitely, you're going to have a conversation. It's going to lead to a date. You may hook up with this person again, but they're bringing today, you know, it's an energy of positive energy friends family social settings um, but they're single okay this is their they're coming in what they bring to the table is single they're stable they have everything they need okay they look out for themselves they they come in dressed nice like i say they 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 look successful they dress successful but yet i feel they have this a little bit of earthy energy okay this sort of this person, I feel they're respectable. There's something about their energy. I can't quite put my finger on a couple of things that I'm feeling here. So what else does this person bring to the table? Yeah, this is someone here who's uh, definitely someone who keeps doing the same thing over and over again. So there's something about that. I don't know if they go to the same place, park in the same place, or a place where they go. It's a habit. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody who travels in your social circle. They keep coming back around, okay? So, hmm. But I don't feel like it's yourself. I feel like it's more like them, okay? What they bring to the table. They definitely are someone who's going to, and I'll tell you, after this conversation, they're not going to be able to stop thinking about you. But I feel they travel in the same social circle all the time. They kind of have a habit, a routine, structure, where they go, part of their day-to-day -day life. But I feel they're not going to be able to stop thinking about you. You see, they may actually talk about other people about you. Okay. Yeah. What else do they bring to the table? Change, transformation. Yeah, this is somebody who's definitely uh, in a situation where they definitely don't want to be single. I can see their energy, but they're leaving something behind. They're searching for somebody who's right for them. Someone's not right for them. See, they may have taken a risk, got themselves in a situation where they're, you know, the one last look over their shoulder. Like I say, they're, they're, they're definitely going down this path here. You know, they definitely work a lot. They, you know, they're definitely somebody who, I feel this is someone who's particular who they date. I feel they're breaking free from old habits, patterns, um, structure, okay, as far as what they bring to the table. I feel they work a lot, rinse and repeat. So it has to do with their habits or structure. You're going to meet this person and it's, it, it's like, it could be someone you see all the time and then suddenly you strike up a conversation. You see, they're searching for something. That's why I feel like, are you, did you, are you, did you park somewhere and you can't find your car and you're like, Hey, I lost my car. Like, I, I just feel like it, it, it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel, it just feels like a conversation. They're passionate. They talk. Okay. They communicate. 
But it's almost like somebody's in a hurry. Uh, maybe a hurry to get to work. Maybe they took your parking spot. Structure routine. Like I wonder if you work someplace where you have your name on your parking spot, some of you. This person may park in your spot. Yeah, something unusual though. It really does. But, you yeah, know, they definitely work a lot. Rinse and repeat. Um, they definitely do. But I feel they have a lot of skills. They're always trying to perfect their craft and their skills. They want to build. This is somebody who wants to build something with someone. Tell me what else this person brings to the table. This could be school. Something educational too. For some of you. I mean, some kind of training or something. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they definitely want to start something. I feel they're very positive, high vibration, happy person. This person's thinking about you. They're going to, they're going to be thinking about you, this conversation. They want to start something here. And what they bring to, to the table is a lot of happiness, a lot of positive energy. See? They definitely work hard. So, I mean, it could be someone who's starting a new job, too. <laughs> Yeah, but they bring, well, they're bringing this to the table, positive energy. Yeah, they're definitely somebody who's thinking of partnering up. They're looking for a partner. Now, this could be, like I say, there could be something to do with a contract or a negotiation. Like I, if you're applying for jobs or things like that, this could be uh, somebody involved in that process. But uh, with the sun shining, things becoming very clear, this new, it has to do with financial security, okay? Like, I, I, I don't know if this is a place where you go, a structure, a building, a place where people spend money, but it looks like something new. Is there a new building somewhere? Okay, are they building something? Are they new in your workplace? But th what they bring to the table is financial stability, partnership. Someone who, you know, kind of looks out for someone's best interest here. But this is someone who's been, si they're single. They're definitely single. I do feel they work a lot. It's like it's like something that they do. That it's positive though. It's happy. There's, there's something that they do all the time. Okay? It's not a negative eight of swords. It's a positive eight of swords energy. I have, you know, I get the vibe that this is somebody who's uh, kind of funny and charming. Okay? I I, I just get a, a very positive energy about them. But I like, it's like they take care of themselves, they dress nice, you know, they have their act together. What else do they bring to the table? A high priestess, yeah. So they are somebody who has a tendency, I feel they keep their, their, their circle small, okay? They keep their circle small, they kind of stick to themselves. But into me, I see. So this is somebody who could be a little bit of an introvert, extrovert energy. And I see this all the time. People who sometimes work a lot, work alone. They stick to themselves, keep feelings to themselves. But if you trust your intuition, you're going to know who this is, I feel. I, I Some of you, I feel like you've already spoke to this person. I feel like maybe even a couple times. It's like you just chit chat. But what's so interesting is we got two people looking for the same thing. We got the Eight of Cups twice, okay? It has to do with uh, some habit or routine structure that you do over and over again. You both do, okay? <laughs> now, I don't know if this is someone who drives too fast. I don't know. I mean, they could be, you know, somebody in a hurry feeling a little overwhelmed. It could be the start of a new job, too. So, yeah, anyway, one more on what they bring to the table. Yeah, they're definitely someone longing for love. So I feel this is someone that they're probably going to be developing a crush, but they are sentimental. They probably will do something nice for you to show you that they, you know, they like you. So this is definitely a person who likes to give, okay? Uh, it's also an energy of someone definitely longing for love. They'll likely never tell you because this is a person who has a lot of pride, <laughs> But I think they're going to start conversation. They're going to say nice things to you. So it looks like a little flirty, but nothing over the top. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely patient, waiting for the right time. So it has to do with this person just being a little bit patient here. So they are patient. That's a good thing. They invest. 
Okay, they're definitely invested in something here, waiting for that to pay off. So they're going to do something sweet for you to show you they like you, and they, they're going to hope it pays off. Okay, so they're going to do something here. I don't know if they're going to help you out with something or what it is, but this is interesting, this how you meet or have you met. In fact, I feel like you've crossed each other's paths a few times because you both have like the same schedule, routine or something. Okay, maybe even both of you have walked away from a situation. It's like you're both looking for something here. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what this, where this is going to go. Um, what is the potential of this connection? Yeah, Queen of Wands. Ooh, King and Queen of Wands. It's fiery. It's passionate. Oh, yeah. There's definitely going to be a physical attraction here. Oh, yeah. Fast moving. This is person coming in quick. This is someone who comes in very, very quick. Very fiery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Queen of Cups energy. Now, it's an energy. Now, this is both your energy because it's the potential of your connection. This is their energy for the most part, okay? Of course, you're in there, but it's really about them. Now, this is an energy of somebody who knows what they want, they go for it. So it has to do with chasing. The chase is on, okay? So this is someone who's definitely very, very beautiful, charming energy, someone who's passionate. They want something, they go for it. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So it has to do with someone who has to do with putting in the effort. See, this is somebody you're, you're going to like this person. You're going to catch some feelings. And how I know is they're going to do something sweet, hoping it pays off. Okay. I mean, it could be yourself. You could be the one who does something nice for them. But I, it, it's really their energy. This is a person who's longing for love. They have everything they need. So I feel like it's an energy where they're going to give you something. You're going to be waiting to see for this person again. I feel like you're going to be open to this. Trust your intuition, okay? Your inner knowing with this energy because the Queen of Cups is an energy of someone who's, you know, kind of... Uh, uh, psychic often self-sacrificing that's why i feel it's kind of possible some of you may do something hoping it pays off and then you're waiting but i think you're going to fall for this person uh, i feel like you've got this common energy of the king and queen of pentacles so if you have aries leo or sag in your chart maybe scorpio okay uh, possibly that could be a scorpio energy when you combine it yeah, so what is the potential? Yeah, I think you're going to fall for this person. Oh, yeah, this could go somewhere. It's an energy of someone choosing their battle. See, we have the, we got some air and fire and we have a lot of passion here. I definitely can feel this conversation is where this kicks off. It's something to do with that conversation, okay? And I actually feel like some of you may talk to this person, you know, um, fairly regular. Like you run, it's like you run into each other. But I feel this is, it has to do with this person being in a hurry. <laughs> and what I like about the, the potential is, this is someone thinking things through. You know, thinking it through. Choosing their battles. This is something worth going after. You're both kind of feeling the same. Okay, going after this. I, if there was another King of Wands here, it would come out here too. But I, I definitely can see the Queen of Cups as someone is kind of just waiting for someone to, you know, to invest. Maybe it's like, you're, you know, it's the cross you're waiting for them to, to do something, to make a move. Well, they definitely will. Yeah. If you pressure this person, though, they are somebody who can sometimes run away. Okay. If they do, they'll come back again. But I feel, but I don't feel it's an energy of running away long term. It's possible. But I feel like you're just going to be waiting for them to make that move. Okay. Choosing their, this is somebody choosing their battles, choosing to go after something because they don't want it to get away. <laughs> it's being wise. Yeah. And we have, yeah, we have the birth of something new, the Empress. This could go somewhere, but it's letting this person know that you're open. Okay. This is connecting. This is being kind and compassionate. I feel it's going to be an act of kindness this investment. And I actually feel if you can be patient, this actually could pay off. So I don't know if that you're going to do an act of kindness or they are. There's something to do with this that has to do with what they bring to the table. Okay. 
So just be a little patient. With the Empress, the Empress is the Empress knows when to be patient, okay? But this is the birth of something new. This is actually a really nice energy. Yeah, so it's there it is. It's an energy of things you have in common. Now, you're going to have conversations. Eventually, you're going to talk about the things you have in common, maybe creative pursuits, people, things that you know that are common that you may not have realized. You got common energy. It's creative, but it's energy of acknowledging. So it's waiting for that acknowledgement. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you, you. I think you'll you'll connect with this person. I actually feel it has potential. Okay. I actually feel like you could team up. Maybe, it, like I say, if it's a work setting, you could team up, or it could be you know crafts, that, not crafts, but you know hobbies, things like that that you may share. Because you got common energy. I actually see an energy of compatibility here. I feel like it's an energy of an act, some kind of act of kindness, something kind that's being said. Um, this person is definitely finding you attractive, but if you just just be patient like the Empress, okay? This person will come when they're ready. When they're ready, they'll make you that opportunity. Now, this could go to the next level. See, going down this path, teaming up the next level. Give this person a little chance to catch up. <laughs> uh, very nice energy. Yeah, I like this because I feel, like I say, there's a lot of passion, this connection, two of you coming together, collaborating. And it could be it could be collaborating on something to do with work, okay? Something creative. Like a, it, it could be a hobby, but it could be actual work situation. Yeah, because I definitely feel it's like there's a, a possible workplace situation. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles, so that's a nice energy too. Very grounded, practical, someone focused on their money, their finances, a person making plans. So they're the one who's going to make the plans, okay? So this person will come when they're ready. Yeah. They're going to ground themselves. They're definitely a lot of focus on money. There always is. Who isn't, right? <laughs> Lots of focus on the financial stability. It's part of everyone's life. But I feel this is someone who kind of, you know, sits down, looks in the future. Do I see myself with this person? I would have to say yes, because I feel they see the things you have in common. So I feel that this person is going to make some kind of plans. What is the potential? Oof. Yeah, the star. This is somebody who definitely, uh, somebody, uh, it's an energy of being popular in your social circle. It's energy of someone releasing things that no longer serve. But this is someone's hopes and dreams. They actually want this to go to the next level. They're going to plan something, so be patient. They'll come, they'll they'll do this when they're ready. Okay, so someone looking at the situation here. So really nice. Yeah. Some kind of some kind of mutual. There's something mutual between the two of you. Okay. So it's an energy of this person kind of looking to see if the feeling is mutual. Okay, something you have in common. Yeah, so this person is definitely, you know, they're taking a little pause here. They're looking at things from a different perspective. Yeah, they're very, what I like too is I love this. They're, this person actually is able to, um, they're probably even checking you out for a while, but like I say, it's a person who's, Able to put the shoe on the other foot, how you might feel too, you see? So that's why I feel like they're not, it's not someone who's going to keep you waiting for long, okay? You only have to be patient for a little while with this person because they're planning something. Yeah, it's just, this, this is, a, I feel this is someone who just looks at things from a different perspective. Yeah, see, this is choosing that path. This is the start of something, choosing the path, the path that they're on. So this is someone who's definitely been, you know, they kind of, they're on their own path. They're definitely someone who's used to kind of doing things their way. They're on their own path. So I definitely feel this, they are single. There's no doubt this person is single, okay? I mean, that could be something that they want to know about you. I don't really see anyone fishing for info. It's, I don't know. Yeah, but I, I feel it's the path. This is the energy of taking this down another path, a windfall of abundance. 
wise counsel, good fortune. Like, you know, it's just the energy of the path that they're on. I think this person's thinking about taking this to the next level. I do see it possibly a date. You know, teaming up, maybe collaborating on something to do with work or creative pursuit while they kind of check you out a little bit more. So there is potential, but I honestly couldn't guarantee it's going to go anywhere. As far as the level goes, it's probably just the dating, um, getting together, looking at the things you have in common. Uh, there's definitely going to be a need to cooperate and compromise, okay, uh, to be a little patient. Definitely you don't want to pressure this person. I do feel they are quite busy, um, definitely busy. In fact, I think you're going to meet this person when they're busy. They're in a hurry here. So let's have a look at this uh, eight of cups. Yeah, see, in a hurry. So they're, they're, you know, when I said that, they're looking for some. So this person lost their vehicle. They can't find it or they lost their keys or it's something to do with driving a vehicle and being in a hurry. Yeah, the chariot's there twice. So one more on this windfall of abundance. There we go. Yeah, you got an emperor. So it's definitely a person who has goals. They definitely have goals. They're goal oriented. There's no doubt there. Yeah. You know what's possible? Some of you could have a couple of options too. You could have a couple people coming in. You may have to make a choice. But I feel like you're going to fall for somebody here with the Queen of Cups. You're definitely open to this love. You're facing it, you know. But if you could be patient, try to not be ruled by your emotions here, okay? Because I actually feel like you're going to, I think you're going to catch some feelings for this person. And maybe it's yourself thinking about them. It's almost like somebody is going back to the same place over and over again, hoping to, um, you know, run into this person where your paths keep crossing. It's almost like, you know, the spiritual journey here, you know, where your path keep crossing for a reason. Because I feel like this person's kind of looking at things. <laughs> yeah. You both, I mean, maybe you, if you're both spiritual or you both, you know, you look at the signs, you look at things like that, maybe they're the same. I feel this person's quite interesting. But yeah, they're going to offer you, they're, they're going to start something. It's a start. It's about building the foundation. It's solid. It's reliable. You can rely on this person. It's an emperor. This is someone who's mastering life. So I feel one of their main goals, that this is definitely a person who's choosing to be financially successful first. I feel they, they are quite well off, okay, but they want to reach that emperor status. And we have um, the empress here as well. So, yeah, I actually feel you, you could definitely connect. But I feel, I gotta be honest, it's not gonna happen overnight with this person, okay? They have other, they have priorities. They're, they're prioritizing. Uh, but I feel while this person's working, they definitely think about you a lot. I feel they wanna cross paths with you and I do feel that you will. If it is, like I say, you know, it's part of some kind of structure routine and that doesn't mean every day. It could be a monthly thing, something like that. But it's an energy of something you both keep doing over and over. Like, I don't know, maybe you're both workaholics or something, or you work in the same place, you park in the same place. I mean, it could be going to a gym, it could be anywhere, okay? Some place where you're going to connect. But they're going to offer you something, and it's stable, it's reliable. It's an energy of someone who's going to put their best foot forward. So, okay. And they're definitely a person who, who's able to put the shoe on the other foot, they're going to see things from your perspective if they kind of keep you waiting because they're kind of looking at it like, well, you know, <laughs> this part, if I don't hurry up and, and, you know, get moving, you're not going to stick around. You may have other options here, but there's definitely a lot of fantasizing here, but I definitely can see a little procrastination for quite some time before that conversation, before they start to talk, before they take that action to communicate. So... Yeah, and if you have a choice between two, gotta be honest. You're gonna take the, you're gonna choose the, you're gonna choose the person who puts her best foot forward, who offers you something you can count on and rely on. Okay, but for most of you, I feel it's just this one person's energy, the energies they're going through. So, yeah, I it, there's potential. There's definitely potential. Okay, to get it going, it's just gonna take some time to get it going. Okay, for them to make that offer. 
I just see talking, communicating, uh, maybe running into places. They bring, you know, they bring positive energy. They have some decent friends, uh, family, okay, places where they go, um, you know, something about their lifestyle, uh, the people that are around them is something positive for you. You could benefit from this, okay? It could lead to things, I feel. So, all right, Libra, interesting. Yeah, take some time. This is one of those things that, I, you know, I, I feel, honestly, I do feel like you've either talked to this person or you're about to, okay? Or you've met this person at some point. You ru keep running. It's like you, your paths keep crossing. You keep running into each other. Because there's something spiritual about this with that hierophant. And that's why I feel this person's looking at the details. Like your paths keep crossing. They're looking at something that you have in common. And, you know, they're thinking about this path. I mean, it very well could be just a person that you work with or you work in the same building. Okay. But I really, I really like it. So hopefully this goes somewhere. Uh, quite honestly, I can't tell for sure. But there's someone who definitely knows what they want. When they're ready, they'll make a move. Okay. When, when they, when the time is right for them. This is somebody who will, you know, if you pressure them, they'll back out a little bit. Okay. Definite, most definitely. This is, it's not like they're a runner. I'm not really seeing enough to say they, they're running away, but they back off a bit. They'll put on the brakes a little bit. Okay. Yeah. But, I, you know, with that Queen of Wands, I feel, you know, it's an energy of someone who knows exactly what they want here. You see, I, I feel like it's yourself maybe, you know, also in a bit of a hurry to connect with this person. But yeah, this could go to the next level. So whatever that is to you, introducing to friends and family, um, you know, they're starting something here. So I do see its possibility of dating, having a few dates, getting together. So whatever that that level is for you. Gorgeous. Take care. Wish you the best. Bye for now.